Okay. Uh, you just saw that amazing video of a beautiful purse that's coming up as another one of our Indiana Artisan Auction items. And let me tell you something, it looked beautiful in the video, but in person, Carrie, it's absolutely stunning. Well, Your you. work is so intricate uh, and so beautiful, uh, you really have to see it in person. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, you get ready to bid on this beautiful purse. So Carrie Moncrief uh, is with me again, another one of our fabulous Indian artisans who's with us uh, this evening. And Carrie, how long have you been an Indian artisan? I've been an Indian artisan for three years now. Three years? And where are you located? Where do you live? Um, just down the pike in Newcastle. Oh, in Newcastle. So another nearby <laughs> artisan. That's fantastic. So. Carrie, I understand this was kind of a journey for you. Like what, what you make now, what you create now came from kind of an initial desire to learn more about your Scottish heritage. Is that right? Yep, that's correct. Yep. Uh, in about uh, 2004, I decided to really embrace my Scottish heritage and started to wear the kilt. Yes. And uh, like a lot of things that a lot of guys get into, there's lots of accessories that yes. go along. Sure, sure. <laughs> but, uh, and the, the sporn being one of them, since yeah. kilts don't have pockets, you need something to keep all your, your stuff in. Right. Um, so I looked around, I couldn't find the kind of sporn ah, I was looking for. Yes. And uh, I've been making stuff since I was about five years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I thought, I'll make one. Yeah. So, um, and I just kept making more and more. And eventually, my lovely wife, Diana, says, you can't keep all of these. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, well, I'll try that's selling them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, and, and that's turned out pretty well. So That's wonderful. So talk to me a little bit about the time it takes to, to make one of these. Well, it, it kind of varies because um, just talking about the actual construction of it, like the spore and purse, right. that would probably take 32 hours because of all the, the, the cutting, the dyeing, Absolutely. the sewing. Um, so that's, and that's probably pretty um, indicative of what it usually takes. Yeah, and so tell me about some of the other leather items that you make as well. Oh, I make, uh, again, sporins is my big right. item. Right, right, I make right. kilt belts, I make purses of different varieties. Um, I started making uh, guitar straps too, uh, some card holders, uh, keychains, just a variety of different leather stuff. That's wonderful. Now the guitar strap is available online right now. So if you go to the Telesale auction online, you can bid for the guitar strap there, but the purse is coming up in just a few moments. So you're gonna wanna get those fingers ready and call in and bid on that amazing item from another one of our fantastic Indiana artisans. Carrie, thank you so much for being here this evening and, and sharing your wonderful art with the rest of us. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much. All right, we are heading back to Somebody, oh, it looks like Sarah. Yep, we are getting ready to auction off this amazing purse. So you'll want to get on the phone right now. Okay, Sarah, that's good gorgeous. to see you here. You too. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful purse. Yes, I it is. I can't imagine how much time that takes. I mean, that's no all kidding. handmade. Uh, he dyes it himself. I mean, yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. We are really blessed with artisans right here in the Muncie area, that and particularly amazing. here for Telesale here this evening. That's Look at right. some of the things we've already had. Now this purse. That's right. I'm going to call that like the original fanny pack, right? These <laughs> sparrins. It's like, <laughs> these, but oh. you can carry it just as a purse too, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So look at that. That's gorgeous. Look at oh, that. Wow. They have look at beautiful the tassels. Look at, the, look at the intricate work there. It is. It's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. My goodness. You can tell that it's just hand cut there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is this? What what do you use uh, here? That's for called like a concho, and that's uh, just the. A way to secure the flap. Oh, I see. So you're pulling the, like this. Right, the, yeah. the concho and the bowl. Yeah. Pole. And it looks like it would be very comfortable to carry. I mean, that's nice and soft it and very, very, really yeah, soft. very pliable. Really soft. My yes. goodness, yeah. And that color, that color blue is gorgeous. I mean, that's so pretty. And you dyed that yourself? Um, the, that one actually came pre dyed. Oh, did it? But the uh, flap, which is, again, I did the uh, cut work on it. There. And then I also dyed it too, because that started out as a really light colored uh, natural, what they call a veg veg vegetable can. Okay, oh, that's nice. just beautiful. Yes, nice. Yes. And so it's um, heirloom quality. So I mean, you could just pass this down forever, and especially if you want it. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make them look to last, right? Yeah, I right. build them like a tank. So. Exactly. <laughs> or that is that's beautiful. So this is something that carry as a crossbody. Um, you could do all kinds of things with it. So <laughs> it's just Great. and it's yes. so soft. And we're going to take another look at it. <laughs> Telesale, delivering another great bargain.
Rob Roy Sporin style leather purse. A Celtic web design is hand cut on the purse flap, highlighting the beautiful sky blue color behind the cowhide leather. The decorative sky blue tassels with a Turk's head knot embellishment pay homage to the Sporin, which traditionally served as a pouch on a Scottish Highland kilt. Sky blue also accents the side of the warm tan color. As you saw, you can see close-ups when we show those videos, but um, I was just kind of playing with it when we were standing here waiting and opening it up, and there's plenty of space in here, and it smells. It smells yes, so yes, good. Yes. I was sniffing it a little <laughs> bit ago. So, so it's really, really good leather, too. It's really lovely. And how long have you been making these? Uh, about 15 years now. 15 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And I assume that these get a little more intricate the more the years have gone by. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I branch out and try to get more and more detail as, oh. I, as I go huh? along. Yeah, yes. you can tell. This is just beautiful. And we've got the, what are these brass? Mm-hmm. Back uh, here. Antique brass, okay. hardware on there. All right. Now, is this something that you would wear like the, that, like the one you're wearing right, right. now? Like yeah, that something too? like That's this way? could be worn either as a sporn, the way I'm wearing this one, or as a uh, crossbody okay. bag. Okay. So All right. It's it, just, the, the only difference is the type of strap or belt. Okay, that, that you do is it? Okay. Huh. All right. Wow. Well, like I say, I've, when I see that, I'm like, okay. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Like that, <laughs> much cuter than those fanny packs that we used to wear in the 80s or 90s. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, man. All right. Hey, I'll tell you what. Karen's already calling in. She's at $110 to start. We need somebody else. Take again a look at this bag. Yeah. What a beautiful bag. What a piece of uh, artwork right there. Handcrafted leather right there. My, oh, my. It really is a piece of art. As you can see, they're showing the pictures again. But it is. It's just, a, it's beautiful. And I'm telling you, did you feel how soft yeah, it is? That is. I mean, that it is, is just that is, amazing. Yes. And uh, do you make any, I mean, I assume they're all kind of one of a kind when you make these. You're yeah, pretty much. I mean, there are times I repeat, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. certain patterns, but like I've made that bag, I have four other bags uh, that I made like that, but different colored leathers. Oh, okay. So they're not ever exactly the same sure. necessarily. Yeah. So. Again, so that's heirloom, something that you can have and pass down, and it's always going to be a piece of art just that's, yeah. that's special. Good, good, yeah. good. Oh, we've got Tell some you what, this is, yeah, we're getting some attention this here is now. Nice. This right. is what we like, yes. <laughs> and it's worth it. It's worth every yes, penny. Yes, certainly, certainly. <laughs> In fact, I don't know if I want to take it off, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I better because it sounds like we're going to get some bidding going. You in betcha. A $350 so. value right yes. there. We're kicking it off at 110 yes, Just beautiful. We've got some other phone calls coming in here. Do. We're going to start an auction here in just a second. This looks like this is going to be fun. Good. Yes. I think we've got an auction. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what. Stay right here with me. All right. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the auction's on. I've got a Karen kicked us off at 110. I got Jackie in at 150. 150. Now 160. 160. 160. 150. Now 160. 150. Dollar now 160. 100. Oh, I've got 175. 175. Now I'm gonna get 200. 175. Now I'm gonna get 200. Here we get 2. 175. Now I'm gonna get 2. It's an auction. 175. Now I'm gonna get 200. Here we get 2. 2. 175. Now I'm gonna get 2. I got 175 with Karen. Need 200. What do you say? We get 2. 175. Now I'm gonna get 2. I got a Karen at 175. Now 200. 175 now, I'm gonna get 2 2. 175, how much? I'll do 185. 185, 185, now 195. 185, now 95. Jackson back in at 185. Now, Karen, how about 195? 185, now 95. 185, now I'm gonna get 95, 95. 185, 95. 185, 185, now 95. 185, now I'm gonna get 95. 185, now I'm gonna get 95. We're going to sell it Jack's way at 185 And again, awesome. thank you. Thank Beautiful you. bag there. Thank, thank you. you. And thanks for your help with Telesale. Thank you.